This is Astro. He's about 12 weeks old. <laughs> Working on downstairs, which is much harder than place. Astro, come. Good boy. Place. And really breaking down. down. Good. All the different steps. Stay. So one step, one robotic step back, stiff step back. Check in with him versus keeping a flat hand out and moving fluidly. Much harder for the dog. Good. So my good caused him to get up. I got to move in right away to reset him. Down. And I did say no. Stay. Back to the robotic step because that was too much for him. So now I'm practicing saying good several times good. to work on his understanding. Good. That it's praising his current position. It means keep doing what you're doing. It doesn't mean get up. <laughs> Wait till I have his focus again before I move back. Stay. I was just waiting to get his attention. Now this is really hard. My hips are to the side. I'm walking sideways and fluidly. Good. That's another challenge. A training tip is you always want to reward your puppy two to five times for staying in one position before having your puppy get up. Astro, come. Yeah, good job, buddy. Come, come. Place. So they are rewarded for staying. Good. Rewarded for staying more often than moving. Stay. So right here, I'm going to try to squat down for a distraction, but I don't get far. Nope. When I move in towards him right away, he resets himself because he understands blocking. Good. So I'll try a squat down with the hand out to help him. Stay. Good. See how much that hand helps, guys, your puppies? Makes a big deal. It's not about the word stay. It really is about the body language. Now I'll try taking it away. So taking the hand away when I squat down doesn't make it as easy for him. Good job, buddy. So after breaking down the steps that much for him, he starts to understand what is expected of him. But if I redo with all of this again, I'll have to start with the extra guidance and then wean off again. That's how it works with puppies. <laughs> this is why we always have a leash on the puppies. Down. Good job. You don't want to have to go chase your puppy down to get their attention. Here's an example of another body language reset for you guys. Nope. Place. So he actually really does make me bump into him sometimes. Down. It's just a no and the timing of moving in right away. Stay. With many excitable puppies, your goods have to sound the same as place and stay. Astro, come. And then yeah. on come, you're much more excited. For a real life correction, he's about to get into something. So no. I say no and hit a loud noise Astro, just to come. stop yeah. him. And then immediately redirect him and tell him what a good boy he is. Yeah. I could move backwards excitedly, grab a toy or good food. Yes. So listen to how quick the redirect no. is. Astro, come. Yeah. No, don't do this. Do this. Hey guys, as I was editing this video, there's always more to say and always more to add. And I thought I would add really quick on the end that if I was always to just make loud noise, eventually a puppy would just tune that out. Many times we have to... Uh, go over to the puppy to get their attention, to get closer to the puppy. It just so happens that in this moment, I didn't need to, but there've been plenty of times I've gotten closer to the puppy, said, hey, or no. Um, and then when they look at me, I go, good job. And I, I run backwards and say, come. And the reason that works is because of all the muscle memory we do with the puppies working on come for their daily kibble. And then that's mixed in with all the other work you saw before the video. You cannot just do one portion of this. It all works together. And that's why with many, many puppies, if they do get any freedom in the house, most shouldn't. But if they do, um, under the age of, like, well, I'd say four to five months and younger, then you should walk around with a treat pouch on you. Um, it could have a tiny little pet corrector in there or just dog food. 
something so you are always ready, especially if you're having bad biting issues, nipping issues, or your puppy getting into things. And then of course, I would like you guys to all always uh, consider getting an X-Pin as well as doing lots of crating with your puppy at home.